Hello and welcome to the Trombone Tim studio. I'm Tim Dupin and today I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, care and maintenance of your trombone, specifically um, how to make sure that your slide and your valve works properly uh, as often as possible. So I'm going to go over just a few very easy to do maintenance uh, protocols for the trombone. And I'm going to start here with the slide. What you really want to make sure you do is lubricate your slide every day. Um, it's, it's very important. Um, sometimes you can do it every other day, but um, and depends on the more you play. So if you're playing uh, shows all day long, you're going to probably need to uh, lubricate maybe once or sometimes twice a day, depending on how much you're playing. Um, and all the, also the elements and the quality of your slide. Um, so there's a lot of different factors, but I would definitely suggest at least uh, taking care of your slide once a day at least. And so I'm going to show you the easiest way that I found to do this. Um, I'm going to use my, uh, my BAC custom horn um, slide to demonstrate. So first what you want to do is you want to take the slide out from uh, the, the stocking. And you're going to want to first, before you do anything, you're going to want to make sure that you use a um, trombone cleaning rod. There's also ones that have cheesecloth on the end of it. Um, but you want to try to get all the gunk out of the trombone as possible in both um, stockings. Um, this is important because you want to make sure that there's as little filth in your horn as possible when you're playing. And uh, most often we, we kind of leave that part out, especially this, this section of it. And then all of a sudden we don't clean our horns enough and then we go and have to get them clean, chem cleaned more often. Um, the next step, after you clean out the, um, the inner side, uh, you want to wipe off all the residual uh, lubricant. What this does is it makes sure that you're not just putting more slide grease or um, uh, on top of old. Uh, it, that gun it tends to gunk up a slide. So think about a car. I mean, you, you always change the oil. You take out the old oil. You don't just put new oil on a, uh, in your engine on top of the old oil because it would clog up your engine. Same type of principle here. So make sure you take it off. Um, remember that uh, it's going to run better um, grease or oil and water, essentially. Uh, but if there's too much oil and then not enough water, then you can get that gunky feeling on your slide. Um, then you're going to want to put that slide down and you're going to take the outer slide. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clean off the inside of those stockings as well. Another really important step um, for the same reasons that I just talked about. If your slide is feeling gunkish, then it's pro you probably need to make sure you do this even a little bit more often. So that's um, what you're going to be using this cleaning rod for. And then after that, you're going to want to put the slide in very carefully into the stockings. Okay. Now for me, I'm going to show you um, something that I've been doing recently that's helped out a lot. I used to use um, a good old trombone teen a lot, which is a, um, you know, just a, an old fashioned slide, uh, slide lubricant. And um, I also use the Slido mix. Okay, the, the, the comfort. There's a lot of different other, uh, there's the Super Slide, um, there's a lot of different companies, um, but I found for my slide at least, these ones work the best. And uh, so what I like to do it actually, is I like to first um, take some of the trombone team a little bit and put a little bit on either stocking. Okay, ju just a little bit at the, at the very end, okay. And then what you're going to do, make sure that you get it as much on the slide as possible. So this is essentially coating, coating the inner part of the slide or the, the, the general stockings with lubricant so that you can have a, a very slick slide. And then you do the other one and just make sure that you're coating all the ends of the slide as much as possible. All right, and then this is something that you may not expect. Um, if you're a trombone teen user and this is good for you, spray some water on and you're done. Uh, for me, what I like to do is I actually like to take off all of the trombone team. So I take off all of the slide cream, and you can use pretty much any slide cream for this. Um, 
And so all that remains is a little bit of the slide cream on the inside of the slide, which I find really helps in making the slide run uh, smoothly. And then the next thing, next step I'm going to take is my slido mix. Okay. And then I'm going to put some slido mix on just a little bit, let it run down and then have it work it into the slide. You can take it out of the stockings. You could work it a little bit this way. And then your slide should be nice and good. Then the last step, um, and the next, last, last step is to put some water on it. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your slide spray bottle, psh, 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 spray it up, and then the oil and the water will mix, uh, uh, well, they won't mix, they'll um, uh, make sure that they separate a little bit and that'll keep your slide moving nice and smooth. So after the water, then you're done with your slide. Now there's a lot of other ways to, to uh, use different types of, some people just like to use a slido mix, especially if you have different types of slides. Um, but I like to use a slide cream, take it off and put a slide mix on. Some people just like to use a slide cream. It's really up to you. But the most important thing is make sure you do this often, at, at least every day if possible, so that you have a really clean and smooth moving slide and make sure you're taking off the old, uh, the old grease before you put on the new. Okay, so I'm gonna set my, set my slide down here and talk about another very important component is your bell half. So taking care of your bell half is also very important. One thing that you really want to make sure that you do is oil the valve properly. So whether it's bass trombone, tenor trombone, um, you're going to be working with these valves that are um, very finely tuned now. They're, they're, they're very good valves, but um, you got to make sure that you're taking care of these every day as well. Okay, so the uh, metal doesn't just start to corrode and, and get gunky as well. So. I like to use a very high viscosity bearing and linkage oil, and the viscosity means it's a heavier, heavier type of oil, and that's for the inner part of the or the um, the, the casing around the valve. So what I like to first do is take some of this uh, bearing and linkage heavy viscosity oil, and put right in the middle after you take off the valve, okay, and move it around a little bit so that it gets in it within the um, the valve and I replace the valve cap right on there. Then what I do is I take the oil again and I essentially put a little dab of oil on every moving part. That's in, that includes all the ball joints here and the uh, other part of the, the valve. So a lot of people forget to do these moving parts. Now remember oil is important for metal, metal, metal on metal otherwise it's going to you know not move as properly so make sure you oil the ball joints any of these little joints here and then also where your trigger attached where the springs are that's also another moving part that people forget and do that with the heavy viscosity oil because um, you want to make sure that it's going to be as you know um, as smooth as possible and as fluid as possible then you want to take a, a lower viscosity oil so a lighter oil and the um, there's a couple ways to do this I, I I prefer this the old-fashioned way. Um, I take some of the uh, the light oil and drop it in to the valve and move the valve around while I do it. And then the the valve, the inner part of the valve has the lighter viscosity oil, which really helps that out. And then you're done oiling your valve. It's pretty is pretty straightforward. The last step is about about every few weeks, maybe three weeks or so. I try to um, uh, make sure I um, take care of the tuning slides, okay? And I like to use a, a premium slide grease of some sort. And all you do is you take off the sides, put a little bit of slide grease on there, take off the old, just like I talked about on the slide, take off the old grease and put on the new grease. So um, in terms of this, all you do is take this off, take off the old slide grease, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to take some of this slide grease, put a little bit on your finger. Now just watch out, it gets um, a little bit gummy. You don't need much of this, okay? You really don't. And you just put it around that. And what you're going to do is, similar to the slide, 
You're going to move it around. Don't normally need water for this, but it kind of depends also on the quality of your, your tuning slides. And then you're going to replace it. And then the same thing on the other, on the uh, yap attachment or any of your bass trombone attachments, um, same type of thing. Um, if you do that every little once in a while, um, you'll, you'll ensure that they'll be well taken care of. Because remember, you want to, when you put, put your trombone away, you really want to make sure that you are uh, putting the tuning slides in and when, before it gets in the case. Otherwise, it can get jostled around the case, and if the tuning slides are up and open, then, um, then they can cause damage. And then all of a sudden, you, you wonder why you can't close your, or you can't um, put in your tuning slides. So um, then remember always to use a, um, a cleaning cloth, okay, a polishing cloth, and take care of your trombone because the, um, all these little areas here are where a lot of the corrosion will start to happen because of the, the oils in your, in your fingers um, and your hands. And so you want to really make sure that you're taking care of it as, uh, along with your slide before you t uh, take out your trombone. Just clean it up a little bit and then every time you put it back in its case, make sure you clean the trombone with a, with a rag, uh, with a cleaning cloth, a polishing cloth. And that'll ensure that all those oils and all those things that will deteriorate the trombone won't affect you as much. So that's how you take care of a slide and the bell half of the trombone. And um, hopefully this helps out a little bit. And um, happy practicing, and I will see you again soon.